Of course, I love Santino, and uh, sharing a Broadway stage with him in Cinderella was way beyond a dream come true for this Midwestern girl. But I want to clarify that Santino was only my true love on stage. And tonight, my real-life Prince Charming and husband, Nate, is here tonight. Nate, do you want to stand up and say hello to all these nice people? <laughs> my heart. Um, Nate and I just celebrated our eighth wedding anniversary. And um, babe, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> And um, this next song, All the Things You Are, is for you. Hide him and make him stand up. Sure. But yeah, don't tell him. <laughs> okay. Who can tell me where he's sitting? Ron. Uh, Ron. 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 We'll, we'll, yeah, I'll talk to Ron about that. And then the last. And Stevie, this next song, All the Things You Are, is for you. He's heard me sing this a lot. So it makes me cry. I met my husband, Nate, in Minnesota. He's also from Minnesota, and uh, we met doing a show there. We were both in the ensemble of a production of Aladdin, and we understudied the leads. So we understudied Aladdin and Jasmine, and as it turns out, the leads collided one day during a show, and they had to stop the show, and they went to the hospital, and Nate and I went on together. <laughs> this was before we were dating. We kind of like had a thing for each other, but um, going on together kind of sealed the deal. Our first kiss was on stage. Stage. and a few days later we were like okay I think this is inevitable and uh, we've been inseparable ever since um, he proposed a year later so we dated for a year he proposed a year later and then uh, we just had our eighth wedding anniversary so it's awesome I'm so grateful for him he's my rock he's it's just so nice to have a life partner to do life with. And as you said, it, like, it gets crazy. Life gets crazy sometimes, and it's so nice to have a sounding board and just the companionship of someone to talk to and unload to and help you stay grounded and keep your feet on the ground. It's, um, it's easy to get caught up in it all. Nathan, wonderful to have you with us. And Nathan is a performer as well, and I'm sure Laura would say this, that she can't do what she does without a support person who's cheering her on, and everyone in the choir and orchestra feels the same way. Nate's been wonderful, and he's he has a successful business. He's a photographer and has a studio, as well as a couple other businesses that he's doing. And it takes intentionality to remain on the same page. And we've gone through seasons of of falling off that a little bit and having to you know work our way back to finding a schedule and prioritizing our marriage because it is the most important thing. You know, it's the job and the career is great, but um, yeah, my, my companionship with him, my marriage with him is just really important to us. And so, yeah, it's, it's worth it. It's worth it to, to try and prioritize that and make those nights off our nights off. Because when you do a show, it's, it's seven nights a week, or six nights a week. It's eight shows, six nights a week. You only have one night off. So we'd really try to, when I'm in a show, take that Monday night to like be our date night. <laughs> and like having a night at home on the couch watching TV is a rare thing for us. So people are like, oh, what do you like to do in your spare time? And I'm like, I like to just be home. I like to stay home and play with my dog and cook with my husband and watch a movie. Like that's our, that's my idea of like a perfect, <laughs> a perfect free night. I think one of the main things that helps keep me grounded in this crazy world is my faith. Um, my family was Christian, so I was raised Christian at a very young age and it's remained a very important part of my life. And um, that's, that's one thing for me that I think keeps me joyful. Yes, the world around us is spinning and crazy, but having Nate and having the like-mindedness even with him in that regard has been so important. We found a great church that we love in New York City, and um, having that community has been wonderful. But it's, you know, it's one of those things, it's like the highs are highs, but even through lows, like still being able to be carried through that by my faith and what I believe has, I think, really helped me. I've had some challenges in my life that I feel like I've been able to come out of um, stronger 
and and still able to plow through. Like the, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And I think that a lot of that is due to um, due to my faith and due to just um, the, the strength and the joy and the peace and the wisdom that um, I think only God can bring. <laughs>